I really don't want to go out back because it looks like it's nighttime. I'd rather stay in my cozy, comfy, warm, safe house. Ah, mother! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! What was that? Okay, I might just check this out real quick because that was kind of creepy. If it's darkness again, though, I don't think I'm ready for more darkness. Uh. Uh, why is the basement... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Rose was pretty unsettling in the underworld, dude. I don't think I want to meet her in the real world. Uh, creepy. Do your own laundry. Okay, I'll do my own laundry, I swear. Aw, home. This is slightly comforting, just mostly because the lights are on. So I think Rose and I are trying to adopt. We make $30,000 a year between the two of us. Nice. Although this is back in 1975. That was probably really good money back then. I really don't want to go out back because it looks like it's nighttime. I'd rather stay in my cozy, comfy, warm, safe house. Ah, mother! Oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Scary freaking rat things in the sewers. And the thing that terrifies, or scary monsters in the sewers, and the thing that actually jump scares the crap out of me is some freaking rats in the house. Oh my gosh. This house was. <laughs> Do you want attention? Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Oh god. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I made my controller fall off my lap. I can't hold you right now. I think you want to hold me and go to me to hold you and go to sleep on me, but I can't do that right now, cutie. Do you want to go out there? Yeah, go out there. Go see what's going on. Go on. Uh, I don't know how much more my heart can take, though. Oh, that's nice. I like the lights. I don't like the TVs being on. That creeps me out. Oh, Rose. I don't want to come out here. It's raining. I don't have an umbrella. It's dark. There's entirely not enough lights in our backyard. Oh, that's unsettling. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Well, this... A hammer and a hacks, I mean, either tool... Oh, God, there's blood on there. And... There's footprints. Did Rose go crazy and kill all the children? Wait, does this lead back into the house? Frick. Uh, my nerves are too shot for this. Rose, where did you go? Why'd you turn the kitchen lights off? Ah! Oh gosh. I thought I saw something over there. Someone left their gross dinner on the table. And the kitchen's all dark. I'm guessing so. It's an interesting concept people talk about. Oh geez. Yeah, no. I think we're done down there. Uh, how can a game like VR do things differently to where it still guides you on where you need to go if there's so much freedom? And it seems like they're using the lighting to kind of do that. And obviously, like, the phone going out. But this light here tells me that I'm supposed to go upstairs. Even though there's no longer... Maybe those are still kind of footprints. Or maybe those are flower petals, I think. So there is kind of a trail, but it's interesting to see how developers look at the game and think, how can we guide you places differently? So, like, it's interesting. It's so, oh, geez. Now, the lights are so bright over here, but yet the rose petals are pretty obviously leading me to this do not disturb room. Ugh. Dave, we have concerns about your recent work performance. You've been submitting shoddy work. Rude. Can I... Shoddy work and acting generally distracted. If you have any problems at all, do feel free to talk to us about them. Dave, it has been brought to my attention that you've been missing multiple deadlines and were troubled by your different performance. Though we deeply empathize with your familial situation, we cannot willfully, willfully ignore your unproductivity any longer. 
I'm officially putting you on a two weeks break as of today to settle all your problems. Congratulations on your work on the advert we recently put out. Seems like the client really liked it. And it's been quite early to see you. Seems like the decision to put you on that break for two weeks is perfectly effective, huh? In any case, congratulations on the great work. I hope to see more of it soon. The company is very impressed with your recent performance. We're thinking of filling you into our recently vacated position of senior editor. We hope to bring you on the company in a more permanent fashion. If you are willing, we can talk through the terms. So I was forced on a break, and now I'm better, maybe. Creepy things under the bed. I don't know the code to this yet. I want to. I wonder if this is going to end with me shooting myself in my study. I feel like this is one of those games where you could take your time and look at everything and learn more, but I also don't want to spend all time. Why would a clock go off at 12.15? Let's just go off at midnight. Oh, God, no. Oh, that doll. I don't like that doll. I don't like this room. I think this room is really creepy. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God, why? Why is the window open? There's going to be a hurricane, people. And I can't move fast. Something bad's happening or something. Okay. I could search this room, but I feel like... The do not disturb is probably where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, let's just let's just do it. Oh jeez. Oh god, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. Oh. Is that you? No, it's worse. Oh god, I don't like it. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Ah, she can still be behind the door. The door goes that way. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, ah. uh, there's gonna be something creepy painted there, isn't there? There's a hurricane, you shouldn't be showering. It's unsafe. Getting over grief. Uh, so I'm guessing we adopted a kid and the kid died? Kind of, from all this? Oh gosh, oh gosh. If you're in the shower, you shouldn't be in a shower during a hurricane. There could be... The power could go out. There could be a lightning surge. Something bad could happen. Just get out of the shower. Don't make me come to it. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That's weird. Well, here's her wardrobe, apparently. Although this is supposed to be the 70s. That looks more like she lived in the 20s. This is creepy. Okay, how far back can I open this curtain from? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh. Creepy. I don't know if this is more or less unsettling. Having this painting in here. Like, what the heck? Let's turn that off. And I turned the music off and someone turned it back on. Oh, good job, developers, on making a really freaky game. Oh my god. I hate this. Shut up. God. No. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in the bathroom. Hey, the wall's gonna start bleeding. Oh shh. What the heck? Why are there peace signs? Why is it anything that's supposed to be peaceful and nice becomes immediately more disturbing when it's in a creepy setting? Oh, jeez. Oh, and they're using the light to tell me to go to the door that I don't want to. Okay, if this goes into, like, another dark scene with the evil monsters and stuff, I'm stopping because I don't think my heart can take any more tonight. Why? I was just in there. Oh, frick. I was just in there. Why? Oh, that's that's unsettling too. So I think this door was locked for. I don't like it. Just shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ah, uh, why? Someone's typing away. It sounds like. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, why did I have a fan on me again? All the hairs on my arms are raised up. Is this going to say something creepy on the screen? It looks like... 
Times Told by David Ridley. Till death do us part, that we promise with all our hearts. Did I kill her? I loved you then and still do, yet it's hard to show. This is not a very good poem. Time has taken its toll, our feelings have eroded. Maybe all that is needed is a little more effort from us both. Holding hands like we used to. Talking about nothing like we used to. Dude, your typing is messing up. Oh gosh. Never again, never again, never again. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Oh god. Get the fuck out of my head. Oh god. Oh. Wow. All these stacks of papers and my vision is like off. Oh jeez. Wow, apparently my work is piled up. Maybe on the two week vacation, I killed my wife. And that's why no one's seen her and just poured myself into my work. And that's why I'm doing so good now. Everyone thinks I'm doing great. I don't like this. Ah! It is not what was there before. Oh, frick! What the heck? Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. This is deeply unsettling. No, I don't want to look at the computer again. Can I just leave? What is this? Till death do us part. Yeah, till your death that I created. Oh, so this looks like like a hotel or something. It's like a creepy double elevator. I bet if I go, it's going to shove me back in the room again. Oh. Yep. Oh. But now this time, all the work is disappearing over there, too. Still, so I just changed the safe password to that special date, just in case I forget. Okay, so that's telling me if I go pick up that till death do us part, if it has a date on it, that's going to open the safe. So our third wedding anniversary day, and we haven't been... Oh, this is the wet third wedding anniversary. So it should be 6572, right? No. No more creepiness. Just let me get in the safe and find out what the heck is in it. Oh, bitch. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, oh, shoot. That's a bad sign. Alaska boarding pass from Seattle, Vancouver. Have a good trip. A one-way boarding pass and the ring. I'm guessing her ring. I was so loath to leave. Weird. Wish I could stay there forever. Well, back to reality, I guess. Not that reality is bad. Dave seemed to have found some work doing freelance for a publishing company, though it admittedly is not what he would like. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That's, that's unsettling. Cat. Oh, my gosh. Is this really the time for this, cat? Dave seemed to have found some work doing freelance for a publishing company, though it admittedly is not what he would like to do. It does pay well. Can't really complain, I guess. He's still hard at work. The story he's been writing, though, and although I haven't seen it yet, I'm confident it'll be great. I have a very talented husband after all. So now, a few months later, I'm so excited. We both talked about wanting children after marriage, but we didn't expect it to be this soon. Okay, okay, I shouldn't be getting ahead of myself here. Though I'm experiencing many of the symptoms, it might not actually be the case here. Fingers crossed. We're going to see a doctor together tomorrow. Yes, yes, our own child. It's a dream come true. We both wanted kids, and though admittedly we've been trying hard at it, we didn't really expect to see results this soon. Dave's been jumping around the house like a little kid ever since we came back from the doctors. That silly man. Oh, I'm so happy I'm the luckiest, weakest woman alive for sure. Oh, no, that's bad. Oh, uh, it's all torn off. I never really thought that I would write in this cursed book again, but I really needed someone to vent about Dave. That idiot of a man thought it was a good idea. No, no one can replace our child. No one and nobody, not even Dave, can suggest otherwise. Curse him in this goddamn stupid message. Curse him to hell. Okay, so from my understanding, they got married. They got pregnant right away. They had the kid. The kid died or something. I suggested adopting, and she was not for that. And the other pages are gone. I would like to find those and read them, but that's not an option. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, cat. This is not going to work. I just hope there's no more monsters. I hope I can just follow Rose and find out what's going on and, and finish this 
game and be amazingly impressed with how well they did with it, but never play it ever, ever again. Oh, no. Hello? Okay, Rose probably took the elevator. I'm just gonna press all the buttons like a kid. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Nobody wants that. Oh great, so now we have headphones to throw. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Gotta bilge pump the water before you can open the door. That's unsettling. I really like that there's been no mo monsters. Spoke too soon. Oh gosh. Well that's awful. <sighs> Come over here. So it seems like the monster can only stay in the water. Okay. So I need to step down into the water, throw the object as far as I can, and try to get across the water without it grabbing me. How far do I have to go here? Just right there. Oh, could you move any slower, dude? Speed up. Oh, okay. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Okay. Nope. Nope. Seems like once she targets you, it doesn't matter if you make a sound somewhere else. She's, she's coming at you. Oh, jeez. We're underwater now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get up the stairs. Oh, God. Maybe it's over. Oh, thank God. I thought this game was almost over. I shouldn't have continued. Uh, I'm outside the ship. This just seems like a really bad acid trip or something. Oh. So the ship crashed, and now there's luggage and crap everywhere. And we're in a huge open area, and it's very creepy. I see a light way up there, so I'm guessing that's where I should be going. Oh, footprints. Footprints make it easier. And hopefully no enemies for a while. This reminds me of like the first place we were. So is that our house or is that the orphanage out there? Is this our house? Yeah, I think so. Creepy. Why is there creepy vines and stuff running through our house? One thing I don't think I mentioned is... I was trying to say that one thing I hadn't mentioned before was that this game, although you're seeing it in a 2D perspective, it is so... the 3D makes it like... this really feels like I'm in a dark environment and I can see these things around me. It makes it all feel very real, so... The game may not look as impressive, just from the outside, but it is really convincing. Like, it really feels like I'm in this house right now. Because I can see, I have spatial awareness, I guess, is the thing that you can't really have when you're only seeing a 2D version of this.
creepy. Creepy baby noises. Okay, okay, just do it. Oh god. That was unsettling. Please stop making that noise. I'm so glad I have this one glass bottle. Oh, shoot, 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 just keep moving. Just keep going. It. Oh, I don't like it. Oh god. Don't. Oh, this is so Get out of this room. Uh. Uh. No, not you. It can't be done. It can and it will be done. No matter the cost. What? Please don't attack me at all. Uh. I'm getting more and more scared. And like. Oh, we start to move slower and slower, the more scared I get, because it's like... Oh, oh. Okay. Earlier I was like trying to cover... It's such a visceral reaction to put your hands up in front of your face, and it's extra terrifying in VR, because you try and you can't physically block the view of the things you're seeing. Oh my gosh, just tell me this is almost over. I just want to finish this. Stop with the creepy eyes, and I can't shut it off, of course. Bottle, you're my only friend. I'm so glad I have you. Oh, geez. oh god, oh god. Oh, stop, stop. Oh gosh, okay, this has got to almost be over. Right? Right? Oh. Bottle? Bottle? Where did you go? I want my bottle back. Oh, why am I so noisy? Oh, it's so loud. What is all this? Creepy piano. Can I climb up this? Oh, I can. Oh, I probably walked around that creepy area for no reason. I missed my bottle. Stop. Uh, I'm just gonna keep Tina grunting so that I can hear everything. I can see everything around me. Uh, uh, <laughs> what does this ship have to do with all this? Like, I understand. Well, it's been insane, dude. It's like a bad dream. Oh, God. It's almost over. It's almost over. It's almost over. I wish I could run. Get out. I'm trying! I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> There's that creepy rose. If I could go any faster, I could catch you, but I can't. Ugh. This. 
is not real. Y'all, I kind of had a feeling there. Is this what it feels like to go insane? I do not want to do that because this is awful. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Just, how long is this staircase? Just keep moving. I know this place isn't meant for me. I don't want to be here any more than you want me here. Please stop. Just reach the exit this time. Okay, that didn't open, so I'm just gonna. I'm, oh gosh, I'm just gonna keep going. Ah. Go after the bottles. Ah, ah. You're killing me. I'm not doing anything. Just let me out. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'm just going to keep going forward because I don't know what else to do. Oh, God. She looks so creepy in the light. Uh, I don't like it. Oh, stop. I can't move fast at all. Oh. Okay. Oh gosh. Don't give me a false sense of security like this. It's all fuzzy. I can barely see. No public access. Oh. Where am I now? Is this my job and I just hate it? Now I work at the power plant or something? Oh, that's creepy. That's like it. One creepy red balloon. Where's Georgie? Yay. Don't. Is this what happened? Did she jump? Did she kill herself because of the child? Don't do it! Don't do it, Rose. We can get better. We can be happy. Please. We can be happy again. Okay, fine. I'll come with you. No! I'll jump too! I don't want to be alone. Okay, how many drives do we have? Because I'm trying pretty hard here. Let's just start the game over. Should I have hit no instead of hitting yes? Did that really just restart? What if I would have hit no? Would that have taken me to the credits or something? Did this seriously just restart the whole game? Well, I'm a little sad. I feel like I don't know what hitting no would have done. Now I want to know. Oh, be quiet. Be quiet. Oh, I don't really want to go through all that again just to get to her on the rooftop. But I really want to know if there was anything else. I wish you could skip later into the chapter. Don't worry about it. We're back at the house. Let's just go. Let's just go. Speed run. Okay, Rose, I'm gonna say no, so this time I expect to jump off with you. I can talk this over, Rose. 
Entering safe mode, manual reboot required. No. So now what happens? If it takes me back to the beginning again, I, I'm going to be annoyed. Do something different. Make my choice matter, game. Cat, not now. Oh, jeez, okay. This is... This is disturbing. Oh, whoa. I'm really glad I went back and checked out what happened here, because this is... This is creepy. So I've been... I don't know if I created this in my house, but these servers were the things that we saw earlier. IVs and air and stuff. And this really gives me a transference vibe. This is crazy. Not you again. So kind of my interpretation right now, I feel like he like designed this in his house to relive. Relive his memories. Probably with him and his wife and stuff. Man, this feels really transference-ish. This is freaking out. Like it it almost feels like I've played this before because I played Transference. I didn't ever finish Transference when I played it, so I don't know the ending, but this really reminds me of it a lot. Man, all these crazy servers. Peace sign. Now this. So I guess he's painting. That's That would never was blood, maybe? Boy, that looks blood-like. Man, if Rose was like in the bathtub or something just now, I was gonna freak out. This house is just full of these servers. All to put you in this creepy old experience. So I'm guessing he lost his entire family, so he created all this to try and be near them again virtually and relive his memories of them. Creepy bathroom. Man, it's the whole house. And just IV bags to keep him alive while he's in there. But maybe it malfunctioned. And that's why I ended up back back here. Oh no. Wait for me. I wanted to look out the rest of the house. Am I dying now and I'm gonna go join my family? So lesson learned, definitely go back. <laughs> definitely choose no. All right, so that was the final chapter of, final chapter of Stifled. Really cool game. I really like the concepts. I really like that they did something different that hadn't been done in VR yet with using sound around you. And the fact that your voice worked too, although I got so freaked out, I didn't want to use my voice. I just tried to throw rocks and anything else I could around me. Great game. A uh, few parts dragged on a bit. I mean, I guess that's to be expected, but like the <laughs> those stairs and I really wish, I don't know, maybe if it, I kind of wish it would force you, if you try to click yes to reboot, it wouldn't work and it would make you go through that other ending. So I think that adds a lot to it. And I worry that some people would click yes and then see it goes back to me and never go back and try the other way. So I had a lot of fun playing this. I think this game's definitely worth checking out. If you watch the whole series, you might not get as much out of it because you've already seen it. Or maybe, who knows, maybe it has some replayability. You'll see some different things if you go through it. But uh, thank you for hanging out and checking it out. I really, I would recommend Stifle to anybody who wants to, if they haven't played it, especially and someone tells you they want something kind of scary but not horribly terrifying it's really scary but i made it through so i didn't stop and quit that would have been my marker for if it was too scary for most people so thanks for hanging out with me today and i will see